Hello everyone. Well, those of you who actually stopped to read my blog, I decided to do a um a react well not really a reaction, but I guess my commentary on what I thought about Transformers. <sighs> Me and my daughter went and saw it yesterday. It's two hours and forty six minutes long and I will say it is completely worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Just worth it. This might be a possible spoiler, so if you hadn't seen it yet and you don't want to know anything about it, please stop watching now, but feel free to rate anyway down there. Um, <laughs> it was just awesome. The beginning just started off freaking awesome, and the middle was good. Okay, great. But um, one thing that happened that I did not expect but it's proof that I am a diehard fan of Transformers as well as movies in general. I freaking cried. I cried like a little baby when Megatron stacked the hell out of Optimus Prime. I cried. And yes, it was embarrassing. But luckily, in a dark theater, I was able to go like this and hide it for the two minutes that I cried. Because I... In the first movie, when Bumblebee was like being taken in by Sector Seven, and they were like freezing him, so I got a little teary-eyed just because Bumblebee was my favorite. But when Optimus got stabbed, talk about a backstab! That bitch went through, and he went down. And God, I was just I couldn't I couldn't handle it. I just couldn't handle it. And then my daughter Chi Chi, she just oh no, mommy, what's happening? Oh no. And she said, Bumblebee. And I was like, Pumpkin, that's not Bumblebee. And she was like, oh, who is he? And I said, that's that's Bumblebee's dad. And okay, just so you guys know, I know that's not Bumblebee's dad. I know this. But she's three and a half. She understands responsibility of a father to a, an extent. So I decided to say that was Bumblebee's dad as a way to, ex to explain that it's Bumblebee's leader. Because, and it's a short response because I could not sit there for the next 30 minutes and explain to her what a leader is, what a boss is, and that that's who Optimus Prime was to Bumblebee. I could not do it and focus on this movie because she would have got, she would have got, for all I know, I would have been all wrong <laughs> because my brain could not function on teaching her during the coolest movie in a long time. So forgive me but I had to do it and then I explained to her later what Optimus Prime was and of course it was talked about forever after anyway so anyway when that happened I was like in the theater like oh my god I can't believe I'm crying but you know it was quick minute and a half to two minutes and then I was good but I completely lost interest in the movie for the next few minutes just because for some reason that one little scene just killed it for me when I should have known better you know, I should have known something's gonna happen. So it was a quick couple minutes, and then I was back into it when I realized that it's not over yet. We weren't even halfway through the movie when that happened, so you know something has to happen. And the ending, yeah, there's definitely gonna be a third. I'm excited. I can't wait. I will definitely be keeping updates on Transformers until this third movie comes out. I am an official huge, hugely huge or huger fan. And I know it seems weird that I cried, but you gotta understand. I've been a diehard Transformer fan since the cartoons. I mean, me and my brother had the Transformer toys, all of them. So, you know, you have to know the background and just be in awe of the fact that he sounds just like the guy in the cartoon. He looks just like the one on the cartoon. You know, so it's it's refreshing. It's nice to see that they don't try to change up everything just because we're in a new generation or whatever. So, anyway, that's my take on it. I just wasted 4 minutes and 23 seconds to tell you guys that. But, worth it. The movie's worth it. Completely worth it. Yeah, so, there you go.